Kia ora. Today we're going to have a look at how we can plan to write a persuasive text. So um, one way we can do this is using the P paragraph format. Um, and you're probably wondering what this P, E, E, P um, all means. So let's have a look on the next slide here. So P is for point, E is for example, E is for explanation. And if you've got these things in this order in your paragraphs, then you are writing a really strong persuasive text um, uh, and you're backing up all the points that you are making. Um, there are lots of ways to do this. There are some really good um, language that you can use. For example, if you're making a point, then you might start with, firstly, I believe, um, you know, and your examples might say, well, an example of this is, or studies show, or I think. So there's, you're providing examples for your point. And um, to further explain those examples, you might say, you might have a sentence that would start with, um, because of this, or, um, or therefore, or the, um, this explains why, just to just to reinforce what you're doing for your reader so that they understand the process. So um, here we go. Here's a little P um, table that you can use, point, example, explanation. So um, let's take a look at um, just an example of a argument that you might use in this situation. So... Cat should be kept indoors and less supervised. That is your main point. Um, and you would introduce that in the, exam, um, in the uh, introduction of your text. But then you would have a series of body paragraphs that use the PEE -E, um, format. So the first, here's an example of how you could make the, a point for this idea. So, paragraph one, first of all, cats are hunters by nature. If you have an outdoor cat, it is highly likely that they will be hunting birds, okay? So, that's your main point that relates of this paragraph that relates back to your overall point. That is that cats should be kept indoors unless um, supervised. Now, the examples that you provide to support this idea and this overall idea are here. You may think that if you feed your cat enough that they won't hunt, but in actual fact, cats will hunt regardless of hunger. Studies also show that cats only bring in 25% of the birds they hunt, which means even if there is no evidence of hunting, it could still be happening. So there are your examples. Um, and then you need to explain. You need to be able to explain how your examples... Um, relate back to your point. So um, I've started by saying because of this, because of these examples, these reasons, we cannot guarantee that our furry friends are staying away from our birds in our backyards and we may not recognize the impact that cats are having on our native species. So it's really clear all the way through um, and it leaves your reader with a really good understanding of what you are doing, okay? Here's an example of the paragraph um, in paragraph form. And this is what I want you to do today in your paragraphs. Start with your point in yellow, your evidence in green, and your explanation in blue. Good luck, team.